chapter 6 more about MS PowerPoint. Let's do backgrounds, colors, fonts and effects. So it is a theme. Second, the Microsoft Office PowerPoint is a presentation making software. Third, through smart art graphics, we can represent information and ideas visually. The boxes with the dotted borders on a slide are called placeholders. Fifth, we can view all slides of a presentation together into thumbnail form in the slide sorter view. Sixth, the normal view is the main editing view where we work to create the slide. Now moving to worksheet two, we have to take the correct answer, which is not a PowerPoint 2010 view. It is outline view. Which of these cannot be inserted on a slide? Outline view. Which key can be pressed to run the slideshow? F5. How many panes can be seen in PowerPoint window in the normal view? 3. Which of these is not a smart art graphic category? Triangle. Now, moving to worksheet 3, state whether true or false. MS PowerPoint 2010 is used to create presentation. True. A placeholder containing text can be rotated by dragging it from the resizing handles. False. Placeholder can be rotated by rotation handles. Third, the new option, new slide option is situated under the insert tab. False. It is situated under home tab. Fourth, the design tab contains the layout button to provide you slide layouts gallery. It is false. The home tab is the correct answer. Fifth, slide sorter view is the most suitable for changing the order of the slides in a presentation. True. Now match the columns correctly. First, placeholder it is the dotted box on a slide to hold text or other content second slide sorter view it is view to see all the slides together in a smaller version third normal view it is a main editing view for work on the slides fourth slide sorter slide show view it is the full screen view to run the slideshow. Fifth, smart art graphics. It is it facilitates visual representation of ideas. Now, let's move to worksheet five. Answer the following questions. Why should the first slide of a presentation be a title slide? Answer: Title slide is used to mention title or topic of the presentation. Second, what are placeholders? Placeholders contains text, images, tables and other elements on a slide. Question 3. Which tab and command button help you to insert a new slide in a presentation? Home tab and new slide button helps to insert a new slide in a presentation. Question 4. What is a theme? Answer, a theme is a combination of backgrounds, colors, fonts and effects that we can apply to our presentation. Question 5, what is a multi-purpose placeholder containing six different icons called? Now answer, content placeholder is the multi-purpose placeholder containing six different icons. Now let's do worksheet 6, answer the following question. Question 1. How will you apply a theme to an existing presentation? So answer. Go to design tab. Select any desired theme. And then that particular theme would be selected for the existing presentation. Question 2. Distinguish between the slide sorter view and slide show view. So in slide sorter view. In this view, all the slides are displayed together in the form of thumbnails images. 
another one slide show view it is a full screen view in which we sh would show the presentation to the audience question 3 where is the rotation handle displayed and what does it help you to do rotation handle is displayed at the top of the placeholder it helps to rotate the placeholder in any direction question 4 how will you insert a table in a content placeholder write steps answer click on the table icon in the content placeholder then select the number of rows and columns in the insert table box click on ok button table will be inserted in the slide now Moving to activity time, here the helicopter has to land safely only on that helipad which has a correct statement written on it to describe slide sorter view. So the correct helipad is slide sorter view is the best view for rearranging the slides of a presentation. So these were the worksheets which you have to complete it in your book worksheet 1 to worksheet 5 will be done in the book this activity time is to be done in the book itself and the last one worksheet 6 answer the following questions will would be done in the computer notebook Now let's do practical, practical one, create a presentation on top 10 books which you like the most and their authors. Now let's see some of the examples of the slides which we could make related to this topic. Like we can make the first title slide as my favorite books and we can insert a picture suitable to it. And then we can mention a table. Here are my favorite books. So we can name the books. We can name the author. And we can make a list of the books which are favorite to us. And next, like here, we can insert the books detail one by one. Like it is about the Malguri days. And we can write the text according to it. Like the book Malguri Days is a collection of short stories and it is written by R.K. Narayan and published by Indian Thought Publications in India in the year 1943. This book includes 32 stories of all set in the fictional town of Malguri located in South India. Each of the stories portrays a facet of life in Malguri and related to this we can insert the picture. Similarly, we can find out the content about the different book. Like here, example is given of the Mahabharata and we can write text according to it. Like it is an ancient Indian epic where the main story revolves around two branches of a family, Pandavas and Kauravas. And we can insert pictures related to that. Now moving to the third example, like there is one more book Padma goes to the space and here it is about in universe children butterfly shaped time machine eats scrumptious star rock salad from galaxy stellar and a volcano erupts fruit juice and that freezes into ice cream and it was written by Shweta Prakash. So in such a way you can mention the author's name you can find out the picture from the internet and insert it here. Similarly, like one more book is there, We the Children of India. So we can write the text according to it. Now here it is believing that it is never too early for young people to learn about the constitution. 
Now, here you can mention the author, like author of this book is Leela Sate. And we can paste the picture, insert the picture according to the book, which you have written on the slide. So in such way, we can make our slides. So in this way, like first was the title slide where we can insert the practical name and the question of the practical. And then we can again mention the title or the heading of the topic which we are going to start and here it is given table so now let's see how to insert the table for that let's insert new slide we can insert new slide by right clicking on it and here clicking on new slide now how to insert table one is we'll go to the insert and we can insert table from here or next here in the middle of it we can get the table symbol click on insert table it is going to ask how many number of columns so let's select two columns and maybe four rows and click on ok so we'll get such type of table and we can change it from the different types of table slides so here we have changed the layout of the table we can mention it like book name and we can also mention the author and we can give the book name as the maha bharat and we can name the author and similarly we can name the second book any book whichever we find interesting we can write it here and we can mention the author now let's do practical two here we have to create a presentation and insert sounds of animals in it so now let's see some of the examples of such presentation like here we can see the heading is given of one of the animal the indian tiger and we can insert some text related to it like the bengal tiger is a tiger from a specific population of the panthera tigris subspecies that is native to the indian subcontinent we can insert more content and we can also insert picture here now let's listen to the voice now in this way we can insert the sound of the animal here we have inserted the sound of tiger now let's see one more slide which is about the cat we can enter again some text of the cats like it is a popular pet in the world there are around 500 million domestic cats in the world cats and humans have been associated for nearly 10,000 years. And cats conserve energy by sleeping for an average of 13 to 14 hours a day. Here also we can insert picture which we can find it out easily from the internet. And we can also insert cats sound. Let's see. So in this way we can insert the sound. So now let's see how to insert all these things in a slide. First of all, we'll go to the search and we'll write, find out PowerPoint and click on this PowerPoint. And after then, a presentation will be open here. The first slide would be of the title slide where we would be giving the title and we can write the question which is related to practical 2 and then we have to insert slide in it so we'll click on the last slide and then if we want to insert new slide so we'll go to the home click on new slide and we can see different slide layouts are here we'll click on two content slide 
layout now we can you can see that here a slide new slide has been opened click to add title let's enter the name of a, one of the pet animal and that is dog and here we can mention some text related to it in this way like again dog has sharp teeth can eat flesh very easily it has four legs two ears two eyes tail mouth and nose it is a very clever animal and is very useful in catching thieves it runs very fast barks loudly and attacks strangers dogs are very faithful animal and we can do the formatting like we'll select it make it bold we can increase the size we can change the font face in such way and we can give it a center alignment. Let's bring it here. We'll just drag it. Now, if we want to insert the picture of the dog, dog how we'll do that? We'll click on insert. We'll go to the pictures and click on this device. Now, this is a picture which is available on my system. It may be different on your system. You just do it that go to internet, search the pictures related to the practical. Now we have inserted the picture. We are just going to drag it and we can change the shape and size of the picture. So in this way, we can insert picture. Now let's see how to insert the sound. First of all, we'll go to the internet there we will find out the sound of animals and we'll download it and after then when it is downloaded we will go to the insert tab and there is an option of audio on the right side you can find out audio click on it audio on my pc either we can record audio or if it is present in your pc we'll click on audio on my PC and wherever you have saved the animal sound go to that folder click on the particular sound like I have to insert the dog sound I'll click on dog sound click on insert now here we'll get a picture of a mic and it shows that the sound has been inserted now to listen to it, either we can play it or we can go to the slideshow. So let's go to the slideshow and click it from beginning. Here, this is the title slide and the next slide is having the Indian tiger and its sound. Next, cat and its sound. Now let's move to the dog and let's see whether sound is coming or not. Yeah. So the sound of the dog. Sound of the dog is coming. So in this way, we can make the presentation and we can insert picture. We can insert sound. And similarly, we can also insert some videos and GIFs as well. 